specular reflection. See that? This is great because you know what? This thing has no. There's no direct lighting on this thing. It, it's it's transparent. It's got no no color. Nothing to it. it there's it doesn't reflect any diffuse lighting back. It only reflects specular lighting. Okay, and a proportion of the light, a proportion of the light that strikes this is going to pass through. A certain proportion is going to bounce off, right? If 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 we said that a hundred counts, you know, a hundred counts of photons were to strike this this tub, then you know maybe a small fraction, you know, maybe. I'd say about like 98% of that light is actually passing right through. I mean, that's why it's transparent, right? That's why you can still see my face through this grubby tub. Um, but 2% of that light is bouncing off. You know, so so you know, 98% passes through. 2% actually bounces off. And the other thing is that that 2%, it's not very much, right? It's only a tiny little bit. Um, and that's why this thing doesn't appear like a mirror, is because 2%, you know, all the dim things in the rest of this room, you know, the walls, my ugly face, um, you know, the, the, the furniture I have around here, those, that secondary light is actually not very intense. And so 2% of whatever meager amount of light, you know, whatever mingy amount of light is coming off of these, you know, secondary bounces, it's not enough for you to see it in this tub. But the light that is coming from outdoors, this direct, intense light is so bright that only, that even 2% of it, even, you know, like a, a, a couple percent of it is enough for to actually overexpose. It's enough to overexpose the image and you see white. See, it's blown out the color. You can't even see the detail on that. So anything, any kind of direct light source has a lot more intensity, so much intensity, like in my glasses, you know, that it is blinding. It appears white. So whenever you're dealing with having to figure out how to expose an image, you know, if it's a direct light source, let it crush to white. If you want to see that, that a light source is red or orange or green or purple, then the most you can do is put a fringe around that highlight, you know, a, a slight, you know, lightly colored tinted halo around the outside. Don't, don't overdo it. Um, but a, a bit of a, a halo around whatever it is, that will tell you, you know, what color it is. And also, um, you know, if you have any kind of other surfaces like this, right, um, you know, if you shine red light on this, this thing is going to appear red, right? You can only reflect back whatever color you get. So when you're dealing with having to light things, you have to do a bit of light accounting. You have to say, okay, 100% of light is hitting this object. What's going to happen to the light? How, what percentage of the light, what proportion of that light is going to, is going to bounce off? You know, like a direct specular bounce off. What proportion of that light is going to pass through and, you know, be, a, be diffuse? You know, like a, you're going get to get a diffuse reflection like that. Um, if something doesn't bounce any of the light off, then that means 100% of it's going to wind up being in the diffuse reflection. And even then, some of your material is light absorbent. It just heats up. This black hair gets really, really hot in a sunny day it's because it's just absorbing all that light. You know, that, that white light and UV and infrared is all just getting whoop, sucked right into the black hair and, well, the, the, the energy has to go somewhere. What does it do? It heats up. It gets really freaking hot. So, same thing, you know. Um, the, that, that's why white clothing is so much cooler. The light is just, you know, it's just bouncing right off. It doesn't get absorbed. It's, it's all going into diffuse reflection. Um, the same thing can be said for something that's red. All of the colors of the light, you know, white light is hitting this thing. White light is just a combination of a bazillion different light um, color spectrum, you know, different colors in the spectrum. And only the red light, only the red spectral light is bouncing off. And if you look at something that is maybe yellow, uh, let me find something. Ah, uh -huh. uh, I don't want to pull that out of the trash can. God, my house is dirty. Um, ah, here. Let's find something that's another color. Ah, purple. Good. Okay. Woohoo! Ooh, the crumbs all fell out. Okay. <laughs> something that's purple. Purple is not. I, I, well, actually. I don't know if purple's in the spectrum. Yes, purple's in the spectrum. Red's in the spectrum. There are some colors that aren't actually in the spectrum. Um, I think pink's a good example. Pink, yes, pink. Pink is not in the spectrum. Um, yeah, pink is not a spectral color. Pink is actually a combination of red and blue. 
Yeah, it's it's like if you take red co- colors and you take you know red and blue and you put those together, you know you're gonna get a get a pink. Um, actually, pink is if anything, it's just like a really really light red. Hmm. Sesame seeds. Um, so that that pretty much covers. Um, yeah, a lot about 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 you know um, any kind of exposure um, color that you're gonna deal with. Um, so sometimes, you know, if you want to deal with a night scene, 